my role as costume designer is I have to basically decide what the actors wear and um, that means looking at all the character um, decisions that we might make. I knew that I wanted to reference the Victorian period but I, I didn't want the costumes to be really authentic. Katie Sykes has done the most incredible job on the costumes because you, when you see them you think Victorian but there's also a very contemporary and fresh kind of look to them. Jane's a really interesting character because we have to see her grow from a child to an adult and so um, when we first see her she's wearing a more, much more childlike costume and then um, there's a big costume change for her that happens on stage. In fact all her costume changes happen on stage which is quite a, um, yeah, that's quite a complicated thing to work out uh, because they all have to happen in a certain time frame to the music. We see, we see Jane grow from a child to an adult. That was something I wanted to see on stage. I didn't want to have the characters going off and then coming on grown up. What that meant in terms of what she'd be wearing is really interesting because she, she has to get corseted and she has to get kind of again constrained. Um, uh, and a female, the female underwear is, is part of that being repressed. So I wanted to show that. So she goes from wearing a quite simple cotton pinafore to a corset and uh, a petticoat to a much more structured dress and then she also has to get out of that more structured grey dress into a wedding dress that then also has to be pulled off in like a second. So her, her costumes are quite complicated here. Yeah. The dress that she wears, the grey dress that she wears throughout most of the show is very important. I wanted it to be something that looked very plain, very simple, but had a really elegant shape to it. We realised um, once we got into the technical rehearsal that she wasn't comfortable enough in it once we realised how much uh, toll it was going to take on her body climbing up and down the ladders and all the movement that she has to do so we we actually had to adapt it quite a lot and put a lot of stretch panels into the um, bodice part of the dress and in a sense it's more like a dance a piece of dance where the costumes aren't big whiz bang costumes like you might see in another production where they really stand out I wanted them to be subtle and I wanted them to be uh, to, to disappear sometimes, to not overwhelm what went on. I wanted the physicality to really come out and I didn't want to restrict any of the performers physically by what we put them in. <laughs> 